As we bring in our next guest, uh, who remains optimistic for the year and has a portfolio that he says is the most concentrated it has ever been with just 12 stocks in it. Well, those 12 stocks are doing well because the portfolio is up 20 percent so far this year. Peter Anderson is chief investment officer with Anderson Capital Management. Peter, why are you as concentrated as you are? What and, and where are you concentrated? What mm -hmm. sectors? Well, after all the COVID scares and the interest rate hikes and all that, I've always thought once the uh, storm cleared that the economy would be on a very favorable track. And that's why I am so confident. I think this year will produce tremendous returns in spite of all the concerns. You know, we still have the lingering concern about the Fed and the rate hikes or the rate cuts. But I still think if you pick good, solid companies, especially in this period of such hopefulness with artificial intelligence and other technologies, I think we're sailing very, very strong this year. Well, what's your concern then? I have only one concern, and that concern has to do with artificial intelligence. You know, I've probably done, dare I say, the deepest dive on the theoretical uh, background of artificial intelligence for an investor. And what I have come up with is this. I think we are all so optimistic about what's going to be produ producing from artificial intelligence that we are setting ourselves up perhaps for a big disappointment. I think the uh, computational capabilities are great. But in terms of mimicking the, art, the human brain, we are so far away from that. And I'm worried that some investors might wake up one morning and consider this an AI betrayal. Then why do my notes say, Peter, that there are two sector themes, AI and cyber, that make up 60% yep. of your portfolio? Exactly. Let me just finish this thought. So AI on a track that it is is very, very strong, but we have to temper our expectations. I'm very optimistic about artificial intelligence, but more in the capability of, say, high-speed computational capability, Tyler, not that it's going to mimic our human brain. And that's where the, the discrepancy can come in. If people are too optimistic about how far this is going to take us, you know, you can't build enough ladders to bring you to the moon. And sometimes that's what I think people are thinking of artificial intelligence, that it's going to Call, it's going to cure everything, and it certainly isn't. So that is the biggest fear this year, is adjusting our expectations, looking in the mirror and saying to ourselves, AI is great, but it is not the cure-all, and mm -hmm. it does uh, have cycles. We've seen from the 1950s, for instance, whenever there's a new technology, people think they're going to have the cure for artificial intelligence, and then they realize, ah, we're not yet at there yet, and then it starts to trade off. So that's where we are right now, I think, in a cycle, probably right. the most optimistic cycle ever in artificial intelligence. All right, Peter, uh, Mike Santoni, we have to leave it there because we've got some breaking news from Leslie Picker on Morgan Stanley. Gentlemen, thank you.